Hi, this is Ashwini and welcome back to the Spring Security course. Till now, we have discussed a couple of things that the user detail uh, interface. This we have discussed in previous video and we have completed a couple of videos related to this uh, particular course. We have completed our uh, six to seven videos and I have put all the videos inside this particular playlist. So if you haven't watched those, just go to my channel. You will find this playlist and you will find all the videos under it. Okay. So let's start today's videos, uh, today video without waste any single moment of time. So what is the agenda of today video? We gonna discuss about user detail service and user detail manager. Basically we have already discussed in a theoretical way, like what is all these about, but I want to show you the what is a code inside in all these two interfaces. Okay. And uh, how they gonna behave. So let's come into the uh, STS. So I have already opened this package called org.springframework.security.core.userdetail. Okay. So this particular interface uh, is available inside uh, this package. So you have this user detail service and we already discussed it has only one abstract method that is uh, load by username and we are passing the username. So we already discussed in this theoretical way in a previous video that uh, user detail by calling like uh, it is uh, fetching your data by calling user detail by username right yeah so this is a abstract method it present inside this user detail service it help you to just load your data with the help of username okay so you can ask me like uh, hey ashwini you are uh, loading a data and you are getting a data with the help of username why can't you fetch data with the help of username password and authority yeah, we can do that. We have multiple columns, right? And we can fetch the data with the help of these three columns or many more columns, whatever uh, we have talked about in previous videos, right? That uh, particular uh, variables. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, obviously, we can do that, but it's not a good programming practice. Let's suppose uh, you are creating your class, right? Uh, sorry, you are creating your table and you are not declaring a primary key. So it's not a good programming practice, right? Because always we are going for a primary key because we primary key help you to just retrieve all your data right so we are always following a best programming practice so that's why it's following here in a spring framework following that that is uh, will give you a data with the help of username whatever the you are configure your data is okay so this is only it one method it under it user detail service so now we will move to this particular uh, user detail manager okay so this user detail manager present inside org dot framework spring framework dot security dot provisioning okay and it extend user detail service so if you remember from this diagram user detail service right it have this uh, load user by username which we have discussed like a few minutes ago like this is right yeah so it extend this one so whatever the method present, uh, present inside this user detail service, that is uh, only one method present inside it, it's available to this particular interface that is user detail manager and it has its own method, that abstract method. As you know, like we no need to be make uh, declare abstract by default, all the method present in the interface abstract methods, right? It has like create user, user detail and uh, like it expecting your user detail right and you can see here in programming we are doing like create user we have this method right and it is expecting that user detail uh, object right yeah and this is a implementation we have discussed and this is a one way of creating this uh, user detail object and after that when we are getting this user detail object we are giving here uh, in uh, create user now i think your uh, all thing is clear right we have a good picture in my mind what is going on so create user we are creating a user let's suppose you have a requirement to update your user so just uh, update whatever the username or uh, password you want to update there and just pass it here with the updated uh, configuration or updated detail and it will be update your user uh, in database or lf server or in memory where, where where you want to update okay if you want to delete your user it has a delete your delete user method uh, just pass the username it will delete just like we are uh, following in database that we are passing a primary key whichever, whichever row we want to delete that right so same similar uh, scenario is follow here 
and same same thing as for changing password if you have a requirement of changing password just old password and new password your password will be changed this is a general form which we are following everywhere like suppose in any uh, application due to the life application you forward your password it will ask for an old password and new password and yeah you are uh, good to go and last method is user exist by passing username you can check uh, whatever the user present inside your database or wherever you are storing that okay so these all the method abstract method present inside this user detail manager suppose you have a, like you want to give your own schema or a schema definition or blueprint whatever you we are saying uh, with the help of user detail so now the picture is very clear if i want to give my own implementation of that schema i will go for user detail after that loading or fetching that you I, we will go for user detail service and if i want to be configured my i don't want to be use that user uh, uh, class right i don't want to use spring uh, security implementation i will use my implementation and i will use this user detail manager to configure uh, by my own with the help of all these method so if i want to do that i just need to be implement this and i want to give concrete implementation for all these method okay i think now all this uh, whole this uh, component user detail user detail service and uh, user detail this all are clear to you right now in next video we will discuss we already have already discussed this one but we will discuss all the implementation which are uh, available in this diagram okay yeah if you have any question till now just comment it down i'm happy to answer see you take care bye bye